guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope everything is going well. And if you are new here, welcome. My name is Melissa. It's been a little time. So for today's video, I'm gonna do a very easy and simple glam makeup look for you guys. So before I do anything else for my makeup, I'm gonna apply a lip balm in my lips. And this is from Lancome in the shade Mind Fresh. And I really like it because it's blue, so cute, and really moisturizes my lips. That's why I like to apply before I do my makeup. So for today's video, I applied my sun cream and also a little bit of moisturizer. And also I did my brows with the Cabral product by Benefit Cosmetics. And this is the shade number 5. So I use it just a little bit to fill in the gaps. And now I'm gonna apply my foundation. You can use a primer if you like, but today I want to skip this step. And the foundation that I'm gonna use is also from Lancome. I just got it in the PR packaging. And this is the Tint Idol Ultra Wear Foundation. This is supposed to be a very comfortable coverage and also 24 hours coverage. So let's see. This is the foundation and my shade is 23. So let me open this up to show you guys. Oh, this is so beautiful. As you can see here, I like the packaging. And now let's see how it goes. So I got 15 shades in total and this is a liquid foundation. So let's see how it goes. I'm gonna apply a little bit directly in my face and maybe this is the color that I would like to wear. So I apply it a little bit, but I think this is a light to medium coverage. So now I'm gonna just blend it out. And to blend, I'm gonna use a beauty blender. And today my beauty blender is dry. Oh, I really like the coverage. Okay guys, I really like the coverage of this foundation. For me, it's so beautiful in the skin and it feels like it's your own skin. I really like the coverage and it's light to medium. For me, it's very, very nice. I feel like it changes the color a little bit when I apply in my face. As you can see, it's a little bit darker than my neck. So I'm gonna apply what is left here. So it balances the color, of course. And this foundation kind of reminds me Double Wear by Steel Lauder. It's a foundation that I also really like. And look, it's so beautiful. Under my eyes to make my face a little bit lighter and also in the center of my face, I'm gonna apply concealer. Today I'm gonna use the full coverage concealer Light Vanilla by NARS and I'm gonna apply just a little bit with the same blender. And now that I just highlight my face a little bit, I'm gonna contour and today I'm gonna use Contour by Danessa Marix in the shade number 3. So this is the color a little bit darker than I would use normally for my skin, but I really like this because I can apply just a little bit of product and have a very sculpted face.
To set, I'm gonna use a Laura Mercier. Next, for blush, I'm gonna apply California Dream by Benefit. This color is absolutely beautiful, as you can see here. I really love how it matches with my skin tone. And now I'm gonna use Gracie Highlighter by George Cosmetics. And this is the shade. It's very light, so I'm gonna apply just a little tiny bit in the highest points of my face with a brush like this. And now that I've done my skin, I'm gonna move on to my eyes and I'm gonna do a simple look as I did in this side and I really love it. I really like the colors as well. So to start off this look, I'm gonna apply Painterly Paint Pot by MAC. This will be my eyeshadow base and I'm gonna apply it with a concealer brush like this. So I'm gonna apply this eyeshadow base all over the eyelid and you can use even a concealer brush if you like. No, a concealer. <laughs> of course, I'm gonna apply it with a concealer brush, but you can use a concealer instead of the eyeshadow base. And for this look, I'm gonna use Hitsy Palette by Sigma Beauty. I love the colors in this palette right here because they are so pigmented and amazing, and all of them are neutrals. So it's very easy to create a combination with these colors right here. And the first one that I'm gonna use is the lightest from the palette. This one, which is called Silk. This is not a white eyeshadow, it's a little bit darker and is more to the bone shade side and I really like it. So it's awesome to create the contrast in my makeup look. That's why I'm gonna use in the tear duct area as I did here and also below the brows to highlight and to stand out a little bit these spots. And to apply this shade, I'm gonna use a small blending brush like this. So I'm gonna take a little bit and place it first and later I'm gonna smudge the edges. And this eyeshadow is very pigmented, so I wanna place it first, and next, just smudge it out. Next, in the other corner of my eyes, I'm gonna apply the shade Enrich. So I'm gonna take a little bit time and first, as the other side, place it and blend the edges. And now that I just placed the color, I'm gonna blend the edges slowly. Alright, so now I can leave it like this or I can do like I did in the other side with a little bit of shimmer and sparkles. So for the sparkles, I'm gonna use the eyeshadow stick by Laura Mercier and this is the shade Moonlight. Which is this color and I really like it. So I'm gonna apply it with a concealer brush like this. This is from Maven Beauty. So I'm gonna take a little bit in the brush 
and I'm gonna place it in the middle of the eyelid. And now right on top of the stick eyeshadow base that I applied from Laura Mercier, I'm gonna use Go Rush a little bit and I'm gonna apply it with a fluffy brush like this, just in the middle. Now I'm gonna use Gel Liner Wicked by Sigma and to create this eyeliner, I'm gonna use a brush like this. So now I just applied my fake lashes and I used it Sasha by Huda Beauty and now I'm gonna apply lip contour in my lips and today I'm gonna use Foxy and also for the liquid lipstick that I'm gonna use this is from Sigma and this is the shade Cordy Hotza. And this is how I conclude this makeup look with you guys. I really hope that you like it. This is my full face glam for today's look. And I really like how the eyes turned out. I really love the colors and everything about this look, especially the foundation. So I really hope that you love it much as I do. And I see you later in the next videos. Bye.